Hello and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Nuka World experience. And today we're going to be doing the Nuka World uh, quests, which means talking to Harvey, turning on the generator, uh, operating the train and driving it into Nuka World. That is simply what's going to happen next. Right, let's talk to Harvey. You, you gotta help me. Please. Are you okay? Hell. I've seen better days, but it's my family I'm really worried about. Once those raiders realize I'm gone, I don't even want to think about what they'll do to them. God, you gotta help me. Tell me what happened. They fooled us, big time. My family and I ran into some traitors a while back, told us they knew a safe settlement at Nuka World. But when we got there, found out there are raiders the whole time, just stringing us along. I managed to escape, but my wife and son are still back there. I wanted to get some help and go back with them, but didn't count on taking a bullet. Let me help you first. I have a stim pack. No, no. I'll be fine. Save it for my wife and kid. For Lisa and Cody. No, really. I have enough. Take it. Damn. Look, you got me. I ain't injured, okay? Just can't do this anymore. The raiders back at Nuka World put me up to this. They lure people in and kill them for fun, and I'm done doing their dirty work. Let them find me and do what they want. Let me help. I'll go face them. You don't have to die. Are you? You're serious? Just be warned. This ain't no walk in the park. Here, take this. It's the password to the monorail control terminal. The fastest way to get to Nuka World is to take the Nuka Express, but I shut it down to help sell my story. Makes it more believable if I say I'm trying to keep the Raiders at bay. Find the control terminal in the office to power it back up. And once you're on your way, be careful. Okay, so the Raiders in the park are a right bunch of bastards, and obviously they need to be killed uh, as soon as possible. Um, this obviously all takes time. Now I turned on the power on the power grid management. I turned on the auxiliary first. That was a mistake because then that turned on the uh, the tannoy and the voices and the music and all that nonsense, which you really don't need if you're only trying to concentrate. Well, all, all I needed to do was activate the railway power, but it doesn't give you. It gives you many choices and the choices you have to make. And well, that's the choice I made. So. We have to go through the gauntlet to get in order to gain access to Nuka World, and we also have to fight Coulter to become the overboss of Nuka World, even though, you know, I've bought the DLC, it's my DLC, I've installed it, and I can uninstall it anytime I want. But in order to get the game to play the game the way it's meant to be played, you have to do the gauntlet. So let's go and do the gauntlet right. Hello, and on behalf of the Nuka Cola Corporation, we'd like to welcome and every one of you aboard the Nuka Express monorail. Now, Nuka World is very much like any other DLC. There's a whole heap of places you've got to explore uh, in order to find out what the missions are. And now, a lot of these things is that you'll walk into a situation in an area or near to a building and a quest will start. And that's how it works. You don't have a choice. So if you go near these places, the quest will start. And so you'll find you'll find you'll have lots and lots of quests in your uh, in your quest log and a lot of them won't be able to be completed now i'm going to try and guide you around the difficult parts right gage is about to talk well look who learned the truth and still showed up i guess harvey played his cards right after all i only got a minute so you better listen and listen good the name's gage Porter Gage, and our mutual friend Harvey only told you half the truth. You're still heading straight into a death trap. But if you somehow make it through alive, I have an interesting offer for you. In the meantime, have fun and put on a good show. I'll be watching. We are now arriving at the station. Please be sure to collect any children and personal belongings before exiting the Nuka Express. 
Attention all my favorite undesirables out there. In case you haven't noticed, looks like we got ourselves some fresh meat to run the gauntlet. <laughs> so you've heard the plot. Gage is a potential companion, and so I'm not going to get the quest for him. I'm going to play along, all the way along with it, until I can find out how many raiders there are and how many uh, I have to kill, plus uh, safe kill zones to kill them in, and also try to keep as many of the innocents alive. But from what I've seen other players do is that they're actually helping the raiders, and surely the point of Fallout 4 is to save the traders from the raiders. Yet the game is forcing us to make more choices about this subject, and that dictates what we do. Okay, so the situation with the guns in here, some of them are turned off and they want, you want me to blow them up until they're activated. And they only activate when you've uh, turned one of them on, like this lot. So just pop some jet and just walk through. That's the quickest way through here. Can't, can't see you, they can't shoot you, you know, and you can just walk through. Now, of course, by the time I'd got here, you know, I'd uh, been in the perks and I'd got most of the good perks. You know, I don't, uh, I have the one where you can walk and you don't activate any traps. The big still alive, but don't let that get you down. So yes, I've got my most usual equipment, which is basically another torso with a stealth field fitted. Uh, yes, I've got the jetpack and the stealth field fitted, and I'll be using that extensively. Okay, so I've got Lorenzo's gamma gun fitted to another gamma gun, which ignores 30% ignores of its at the armor, and that's what I'm going to use on these doors. One blast, and whatever's in there gets blown to smithereens. Okay, moving on to the next room. Okay, so I don't know if you've seen my suit. I've changed the colour scheme. I've now I've put lead on all of the outside of the... Uh, where it used to be coloured purple for, like, uh, charisma, which only really works if the armour hasn't been damaged. I've, what I've done now is I've actually covered it up with lead so that I could actually stand inside this radiation zone and not be harmed. I mean, that's the whole point, isn't it? I'm surprised, really, uh, if, if Nuka World was supposed to be the, the B-end and the end-all of uh, Fallout 4, the most sophisticated, um, you know, setup of them all, uh, it's really been a bit of a letdown, actually. It's so tedious, and uh, really, it's, you know, surely they could come up a bit more, something a bit more creative, but then again, you know, it, after all, it is only a computer game. It, it doesn't offer you educational choices, it doesn't teach you to be resilient or like uh, frugal, uh, you know, it allows you to make all the worst choices possible. I mean, it is, after all, just a game. And so we should just treat it as just a bit of enjoyment, if possible. So you see, I set the guns to explode uh, when they fired because I really don't want this gauntlet to be running after I've been through it. And that's part of the let's clean up nuclear world. That really, what it is about is let's clean up nuclear world, yeah? And so that's um, really what our mission is, to destroy the gauntlet as much as we can and then uh, find the graders and destroy them uh, whilst freeing the settlers which have been duped into coming into nuclear world and now living as captives, no doubt, and we'll find out when we get inside what the, uh, you know, the state of the depravity uh, that has been written into this game as the end all and the be all of Fallout Force. So you get to this room, there's gas everywhere, you've got to turn the gas off with these uh, orange gas things, or you could just blow up the gas, but even if you blow up the gas, uh, the gas still comes out, so you really have to like get to the control panel and open the door, and that's the only way to get the gas. Right. Yeah, if you choose to look for all those other things, the turbine status and the generator, you will find that there's untold problems and it can't be fixed from here. That's right, Vic. Breathe that fresh air in while you can. Stop right there. Yes, yeah, so you will find that the beasts 
in Nuka World are the same level as you. I'm I level 115 to 117, and the beasts are all 100 to level 17 to 100. And Christ, Christ knows what. <laughs> Sorry, Christ. Yeah, so you'll find all the beasts are quite hard to kill. Um, you think you've got enough armaments, but you haven't. Um, yes, without giving too much away, let's get to the main event. Okay, so this is the first time you see the raiders. Uh, we've got one here, what's it, a disciple butcher uh, and an operator butcher. Okay, so I'm going to kill as many of these fuckers as I can here. And lots of these things, grenades, yeah, get all the grenades, that's very, very important. You need as many grenades as you can, because uh, what I've seen so far, uh, it's all like, uh, you know, 555 ammo. I haven't seen any 45 ammo at all. So, yeah, this would be the only chance, really, to kill some of the raiders early on without any um, ramifications. They won't turn hostile on you if you kill them here. Right, so that's what we did. Okay, so we've made our way to the main event, which is now... Uh, inside Nuka World um, and some arena where we have to fight somebody. Um, oh, that's him down there. Got me wired up yet, Gage? Yeah, boys. Finally. Now go shut off that damn alarm. All right, I'm on it. Uh, now where? Ah, there's my next victim now. <laughs> Don't look like much. Here's a quick rundown how this works. You go stock up. Make yourself presentable. Then we're going to give these folks a show. A show where I decorate these walls here with your lovely brains. Thanks to this suit, I'm the only one that wins this fight. Period. You think that power armor will do you any good? Think again. All right, Gage. Let her through. It's almost time. After a run like that, this ought to be the best slaughter yet. Remember, longest survival time against Coulter still. All right, listen the hell up. If you want to make it out of this alive, I've only got a minute. If I need a calm on the wall, I'll make it quick. Hey, I know you're still in there. Gonna do this or not? Okay, so somewhere in here is a gun, and oh, there it is down there. That's the gun that we need. Apparently, it's a water pistol that squirts water that you can squirt on Colter's suit, which uh, does something to the circuits, and it means that he hasn't got his defense shield, and then you use conventional weapons or whatever you've got to hand to kill him. So I'm going to put the, 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 the water pistol on one of my hotkeys so I can get to it, but I am going to try and kill him with a conventional weapon first. Just so you don't have to. Who is this? I'm the guy that's going to get you out of this alive. So listen up. Yeah? And what's in it for you? This ain't just about what's in it for me. Both of us reap the rewards if you pull this off. What the hell is this place? You make it through this alive, I'll explain everything. You want me to listen? Tell me now. All right, all right. The gauntlet's the overboss's pet project. Lure in whoever we can, however we can. Like that guy Harvey and his poor family. Total bullshit, just to get you here. He's a terrible con man. I saw through his little scam. Yeah, but you're stuck here anyway, so I need you to listen up. All right, I'm listening. My kind of gal. Look, you made it this far. You obviously got skill, but this fight coming up is rigged. You get me? Over Boss Coder. His power armor's set up to draw energy from the electric grid in the arena. Damn thing's invincible. You name it, someone's tried it. Miniguns, grenades, not a scratch. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I wouldn't expect anything less from a raider. <laughs> you know us well, then. You want to win? 
I stashed a weapon in the lockers. Get it. I already grabbed that. I'm armed and ready to go. Gotta admit, I didn't think you'd be so excited to find out a squirt gun is the key to saving your life. Yeah, yeah, I know what it looks like. You're just going to have to trust me. I've always wanted one of these. But I made a great toy for Sean. Oh, great. Your lucky day. Congratulations. Now we can get on with it. Once the water hits Colter's electrically charged power armor, the circuits are gonna short out. It'll kill his defenses, but you only have so much time to do some damage before they recharge. You take him out, I promise you, it'll be worth every minute spent in this gauntlet. Consider it done. That's what I like to hear. All right, it's time. I'll open the door. See you on the other side. And that's how it's done. You have to use the water pistol in order to win. As you can see, I could not kill him otherwise. Uh, so, yeah. So it's rigged from the start. And these are all the gangs that we have to kill. Well, there's a lot of them. So you get this far. You do the gauntlet. You become uh, overboss of Nuka World. But then what? If you're not strong enough to take out the gangs or can't come up with a plan to take out the gangs, you, the gang will force you into supporting the gangs and then letting them loose over all your um, settlements that you created in the Commonwealth. That's what I imagine might happen. And so really, uh, that's totally against the spirit of Fallout 4 and why we play it. So, welcome to Nuka World. And this is the view you'll get when you step out of uh, Colocade. Get used to the sound of Nuka World, which is constant shooting. It's like some psychological uh, warfare, or some sort of torture. Ever since you guys took over, you've been working us around the clock. What do you expect us to do? We expect you to show a little appreciation. We make sure you've got enough to eat and drink. We provide security. Without us, you'd be food for the bloodworms. You can either do your job and earn your keep, or we can throw your ass outside the park. Or maybe you think you're better off out there. 
alone and unarmed. No! No, I'll, um... I'll get back to work. That's better. Right, so that's the situation. We've got a load of ra uh, traders with collars on, wearing rags. And a lot of those other guys sitting around with guns, torturing them. Oh, I can see this is going to be a, lo a little bit more difficult than I first imagined. Now, I know one thing, that this robot thing on the left, do not talk to that robot. If you talk to that robot, you'll get a load of quests you don't want. Uh, fill up your... Uh, oh, wait, there's Harvey. We've got to talk to Harvey. To rebuild. Just wanted to say... Easy, no hard feelings. If there's anything All right. left. How good is this source of yours? It's good, Shank. I don't it's okay. Bullshit. I get it. Like Thank God. It that way. Here, if it's any consolation, this. I'm glad you made it. I lost my real family Shank, when Coulter and his gangs took this place from us. Now, these traitors are all I have left. They're my family now. Every time Coulter sent me out to lure people into the gauntlet, I didn't have a choice. I had to do it. Or he'd kill someone I cared about. I'm just sorry you had to get caught up in all this. It's all right, Harvey. I understand. Good to hear, boss. Never figured I'd find myself in this situation before. I thought for sure I'd be a goner. Well, better get back to it. Right, well that's that video over, and if you want to see what happens next, catch you in the next video. Bye for now.